When you were in grade 7, you learned about quadrilateral. Quadrilateral is described as a four-sided polygon, wherein the sides of a quadrilateral are segments and the endpoints of which are referred to as vertices. One type of a quadrilateral is a parallelogram. Parallelogram, it is a kind of quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel sides. It has four angles, sides, and vertices. For a parallelogram below, we write the parallelogram M-A-T-H as in this symbol. Like any other polygon, we may name a parallelogram by writing the vertices in consecutive order. So M-A-T-H. The same with the angles. Angle M, angle A, angle T, and angle H. For the sides, you can see their sides HM and you should put a symbolism that it is a side. AT, HT, and MA or AM. For the diagonals, a diagonal is a line connecting the two opposite vertices. So M, T, and A. H. Now let us discuss properties of parallelograms. Property number one. If a quadrilateral is a parallelogram, then the opposite sides are congruent, meaning HM is congruent to the opposite side which is AT and AM is congruent to HT. So, for example, if we're going to solve the problem number one, given parallelogram MATH, if AM is 25 meters and HM is 15 meters, determine the measure of side AT and side HT. So, from this given property, we could say that AM is congruent to HT. If they are congruent class, therefore, they are equal. So, since AM is 25, therefore, we could also say that HT is also 25 meters. Next one, HM is congruent to AT. And if they are congruent, therefore, they are equal. So HM is also equal to AT. And based on the given, HM measures 15 meters. Therefore, AT also measures 15 meters. And that would be our answer. Let's proceed to example number 2. Given parallelogram MATH, if AM is 7x minus 2 and HT is 6x plus 1 and HM is 17 minus 2x, determine AT. So class from the given measures, we always say that AM, AM is congruent to HT and we could also get AM is equal to HT. So if they are congruent, therefore they are also equal. Then substitute the given 7x minus 2 and HT is 6x plus 1. Then we will find the value of x. So it will become 7x minus 6x equals 1 plus 2. 7x minus 6x is x and 1 plus 2 is 3. So the value of x here is 3. We will use the value of x class in solving hm. So hm is equal to 17 minus 2x and we will substitute 3 to x. So it will become 2 times 3. Therefore, it will become 17 minus 6. And 17 minus 6, that is 11. And HM measures 11 units. Since HM is congruent to AT, and HM is also equal to AT, and since HM is 11, AT is also 11. So we now find our answer.
property number 2. If a quadrilateral is a parallelogram, then the opposite angles are congruent. Meaning of the opposite angles their class, therefore, angle M is congruent with angle T and angle H is congruent to angle A. Property number 3. If a quadrilateral is a parallelogram, then the consecutive angles are supplementary. Meaning of supplementary, meaning it is the sum of two angles are equal to 100 degrees. Meaning, angle M plus angle A is equal to 180 degrees before they are consecutive angles. And angle A plus angle T is also equal to 180 degrees because they are also consecutive angles. Aside from that, angle T plus angle H is also equal to 180 degrees. And lastly, angle H plus angle M is equal to 180 degrees. Now let's try to use this idea or this concept in solving word problem, like number 3. Given parallelogram MATH, if angle M is equal to 110 degrees and angle H is equal to 70 degrees, determine angle A and angle T. From the given, we know that angle M is congruent to angle T. And if the two property or if the two given are congruent, then they are also equal. So angle M is also equal to angle T. Angle M, the measure of angle M is equal to 110 degrees. Therefore, the measure of angle T is also 110 degrees because they are equal. And that would be the answer for the first problem. Next one, what is the measure of angle A? So from the given still, we know that angle H is congruent to angle A because they are opposite angles. And if they are congruent, meaning they are equal. So the measure of angle H is equal to the measure of angle A. And the measure of angle H on the given class is 70 degrees. Therefore, the measure of angle A is also 70 degrees. And that would be the final answer. Now let's finalize our answer. Therefore, the measure of angle A is 70 degrees and the measure of angle T is 110 degrees. Now let's proceed to example number 4. Given parallelogram MATH, if the measure of angle M is X plus 36 degrees, and the measure of angle A is 186 minus 2x degrees. And the measure of angle T is 3y minus 27 degrees. Solve for x, y, and the measure of all angles. So as we have known class, from the given property, property number 3, that consecutive angles are supplementary, we could say that angle M plus angle A is equal to 180 degrees. And angle M from the given, it is equal to X plus 36 degrees. And angle A is equal to 186 minus 2 X degrees equals to 180 degrees. This time class, our objective is to solve for the value of X. So let's proceed to the simplification. So it will become x minus 2x plus 36 plus 186 equals to 180 degrees. x minus 2x, that's negative x. And 36 plus 186, 222 equals 180. Then, class, we're going to transpose 222 to the other side of the equal sign. That makes the equation equal to 180 degrees minus 222 degrees. Negative x equals 180 minus 122. 
that will be equal to negative 42 and simplify further by dividing negative 1 then the final answer for x is positive 42 so x is equals to 100 so x is equal to 42 to solve for the value of y in this given we will use this idea opposite angles which is m and t are equal so the measure of angle t is congruent to the measure of angle m and if they are congruent they are equal so we could say the measure of angle t is equal to the measure of angle m angle t measures 3y minus 27 and angle m measures from the given x plus 36 and we all already solved the value of x which is 42 so we will substitute 42 from x it will become 42 plus 36 so it will become 3y minus 227 equals to 78 transpose negative 27 to the other side it will become 3y equals 78 plus 27 so 20, 78 plus 27 it is equal to 105 to simplify further we will divide 3 and y is equal to 35 and that would be the answer for the value of y aside from that class it's also asked on the given that we need to find the measures of all angles so we will find the measures of all angles by using the given values of x and y so let's start with the measure of angle m measure of angle m is equal to x plus 36 x is equal to 42 plus 36 so the answer for angle m is 78 degrees next one since angle m is equal to angle t because they are opposite angles then we could also say that the measure of angle t is equal to 78 degrees next we're going to solve for angle a the measure of angle a is equal to 100 186 minus 2x and we already solved for the value of x which is 42 so it will become 186 minus 2 times 42 so it will become 186 minus 84 so the measure of angle a is 102 degree and since class angle a the opposite angle of angle a is angle h and opposite angles are equal we could also say that the measure of angle h is also 102 and that would be our answers so we will finalize by verbalizing it so we could say therefore x is equals to 42 y is equals to 35 the measure of angle a is equal to 78 degrees the measure of angle T is also equal to 78 degrees. The measure of angle A is equal to 102 degrees. And the measure of angle H is equal to 102 degrees. Let's move on to property number 4. If a quadrilateral is a parallelogram, then a diagonal divide it into two congruent triangles. Property number 5. If a quadrilateral is a parallelogram, then the diagonals bisect each other. So let's try to use this properties class in solving different problems, like example number 5. Given parallelogram MATH, if AH bisect MT, which is equal to 100 cm, find the measure of side say, or line segment. Mx. Using the idea of property number 5 class, we could say that 
mt is equal to 2 mx because um, this mx is equal to xt, xt and they measure the same so if mt is 100 we will just substitute 100 to mt and 2mx to find the value of mx we will divide it by 2 so it equals to 50 equals mx and we will simplify it it, it will become mx equals to 50 and that would be 50 centimeters and that would be our final answer now let's move on to example number six given parallelogram m a t h if a h is four centimeter more than m t and t x is 10 centimeter determine h x so using also the concept of property number five we could say that m t is equal to two T X. Thus, mt is equal to 2 times 10 cm because Tx is 10 cm. So, mt class is 20 cm. Based on the given class that AH is 4 cm more than mt, and we already solve for the value of mt which is 20, so AH is 24 centimeter. Now using again property number 5 and we already know that um, HX is half of HA. So we could say that HX is equal to 12 centimeter and that would be our answer. And that would be all grade 9 for properties of parallelograms. Now, I guess you are ready to answer the different formative assessments. Thank you and see you next time.